Hey, so let's understand decision control statement in C++. What is the decision control statement? Decision control statement is a statement which decides flow of the execution or order of the execution based on the condition. Okay, so these are the statements which are going to decide order of the execution based on some condition. Now you will get more idea about this definition that I just gave you whenever we will see some programs, whenever we will go ahead in this model, we will see if statement, if else statement, if else if ladder, switch case statement and all that stuff. But right now let's not worry too much about this definition even if you are not able to pick it properly. Okay, you will get complete idea about this definition till the end of this module. Okay, so don't worry about it. Right now let's quickly take one simple example to understand what are the decision control statement and why we need them. So what I've done is I have drawn three type of people, three category of people. The first category is slim people who usually have weight between 40 to 60 kg. I call them as slim people, right? Then we have some fit people who have weight between 60 to 80 kg. They are like in good shape. They have good figure, I will say, right? And then there are some overweight people who have usually weight greater than 80 kg. Those are overweight people, right? Now, if, if you are someone who is in slim category, which is 40 to 60 kg weight, then in that case, maybe you should eat little greater number of calories in order to increase your weight because you seriously need increase in your weight, right? So what I've done is for this category, I have advised that you should gain your weight and you should eat 2600 calories at least per day in order to increase your weight. Okay. Now there is a moderate weight category, right? Or I'll say the perfect weight category that is 60 to 80 kg. So if you are coming from this category, then ideally you should maintain your weight and maybe for maintaining your weight, you should eat 2300 calories per day. See, this is just an example. I know that calories and weight is dependent on your height and BMI, all that stuff. But this is just an example. So don't go, don't look at it too scientifically, all right? Okay, again, let's say you are coming from a category where your weight is greater than 80 kg, then ideally you should think of losing some weight. And in that case, you should eat some calorie defect diet. Maybe you should eat less than 2000 calories or I'll say 1800 calories, okay, per day. Now focus on my statements. If your weight is between 40 to 60 kg, so this, if your weight is between 40 to 60 kg, this is my condition. So if this condition is true, then you should eat 2600 calories per day. If your weight is between 60 to 80 kg, then you should eat 2300 calories per day. And if your weight is greater than 80 kg, then in that case, you should eat calories, maybe 1800 calories per day. So these weight ranges are nothing but our conditions and based on the conditions, we are deciding how many calories we need to eat, right? So these are nothing but called as decision control statement or uh, we can write such kind of things in our programming, okay? So whenever we have to take some decision based on some condition. So for example, you are coming to me and you are asking me how many calories I should eat. So now I have some decision statements, right? So I will check. If your weight is between 40 to 60 kg, then you should eat 2600 calories. If your weight is between 60 to 80 kg, then you should eat 2300 calories. And if your weight is greater than 80 kg, then you should eat 1800 calories. So these are nothing but decision statement. We have some conditions. What are the conditions over here? These weight ranges, weight ranges that we have, these are our conditions. Whether the weight is between 40 to 60 kg or 60 to 80 kg or greater than 80 kg, these are our conditions. And based on the conditions, we are deciding how many calories a person is going to eat or person should eat. So based on the condition, we are deciding which statements are going to be executed. See, you will get more idea about it whenever we will proceed in this module. I hope now you are clear on the basics about decision control statements, right?